You had it easy. You had your children and friends to comfort you. I had me. My friends didn't want to hear about it. They said, what are you griping about? At least you had a lover. Because everybody knows that queers don't feel nothing. How dare I say I loved him? You had it easy. Your husband died in a nice, clean hospital. Mine died out there. Killed by a bunch of kids with baseball bats. Children, children taught by people like you, because everybody knows that queers don't matter. Queers don't love, and those that do deserve what they get. I know you'd rather I was straight, but I am not. Let me tell you something. I have taught myself to sew, cook, fix plumbing, do taxes, build furniture. There is nothing I need from anyone except love and respect. And anyone who can't give me those two things has no place in my life. You are my mother. And I love you. I do. But if you can't respect me, then you've got no business being here. <laughs> mm. Even as one heat, another heat expels, or as one nail by strength drives out another, so the remembrance of my former love is by a newer object quite forgotten. Is it mine or Valentine's praise? Her true perfection or my false transgression that makes me reasonless to reason thus? She is fair, and so is Julia, that I love, or that I did love, <laughs> for now my love is thawed, which, like a waxen image against a fire, bears no impression of the thing it was. Ugh. Methinks my zeal to Valentine is cold, and that I love him not as I was wont. Oh, but I love his lady too, too much, and that's the reason I love him so little. How shall I dote on her with more advice, that thus, without advice, begin to love her? Tis but a picture I've yet beheld, and that hath dazzled my reason's light. But when I look at her perfections, there is no reason that I shall be blind. If I can check my erring love, I will. If not, to compass her, I'll use my <laughs> skill. <laughs> Can I see your breasts? I don't mean right now. I'm not so drunk that I've forgotten where we are. Not right this minute, but sometime. So how about now? We can go over there where it's shady. I wouldn't want them to get burnt or anything. Uh, I wouldn't try to touch them. You. Just look, no touching. And if there's anything on me you wanted to see, that'd be okay. I'd show you. Or not. It's just that I've never seen any breasts. And I know that yours aren't just any breasts. They're yours and they're unique to you. And that's why I'd be so special made for yours with the first ones I saw because I like you. Now we're almost done here. Let's ask for the bill. No. Let me get this one, please. Next time you'll pay. After all this time being here with you still feels the same. So don't be a stranger in my life. Please keep me posted. You need me. Just pick up the phone and I'll be there. No questions asked. It's good to see you again. So good to see you again. Let's not make this two more years. I hope to see you again. Hi, so first off, I want to start off with other interests that I have outside of performing. Um, but I love to sing and dance, but I also love to do makeup. I love to do effects makeup and gore makeup, but Today, I was trying something a little bit different with my friends, and that's why I have makeup on my face right now. Why I was interested in applying to UNCSA is that I want to look for a strong acting program that will help me create my base in acting, a really strong base in acting, because 
I don't care what it is, if it's singing, acting, dance, no matter what you do, everything is based in storytelling and that's why I want to create that strong foundation for myself. But also the Keys to the Kingdom program senior year is something that I'm a little bit interested in as well because I have never really thought about directing, but I think it'd be something really cool to explore. So I think that uh, the school will help me be able to explore things that are outside of just acting, um, but also do things that I might want to do later in life that I'm not really sure about right now. I go to the high school for the performing and visual arts in Houston, Texas. And the way that that program is set up is we audition to get into the school. Our first two years is acting, musical theater, and tech. So I'm also doing makeup and costume designing and stagecraft and drafting and all of the aspects. It's just so that we can discover things that we may also want to do outside of acting and discover things that we might actually be good at. At school, I've discovered that not only do I love performing, but I love people. <laughs> I The reason why I want to do acting is not only because I want to explore myself as a human being, but I want to explore everyone else as well. I want to inspire this next generation to be vulnerable, because I really think that vulnerability is the key to communication. And I want to be able to say to this next generation, hey, it's okay to be vulnerable, it's okay to cry, it doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl or what sexuality you are, being vulnerable is what, cre what creates a community. And I want to show, I want to inspire people through my performance that it's okay to be open. This last question is heading into conservatory, what do you imagine will be the most challenging? And my honest answer is, I don't know. I really don't know. I want to do this for the rest of my life and I love acting and I love performing, but going into college, I don't really know what's going to be challenging and that's the reason why I want to do it so badly. I want to discover the unknown. I want to discover what I'm going to be afraid of in four years, what I'm going to be afraid of, uh, what I'm going to learn to love. I want to find out and that's why I think I would be a great addition to as well and that's why I want to go to UNCSA because I know that you will push me past my limits and out of my comfort zone so that I can discover the unknown. Thank you.